the mRNA platform. This is from the Moderna website. mRNA platform, enabling drug discovery and develop development. We built Moderna on the guiding premise that if using mRNA as a medicine works for one disease, it should work for many diseases. And if this is possible, given the right approach and infrastructure, it could meaningly, meaningfully improve how medicines are discovered, developed, and manufactured. Our operating system. Recognizing the broad potential of mRNA science, we set out to create an mRNA technology platform that functions very much like an operating system on a computer. It is designed so that it can plug and play interchangeably with different programs. In our case, the program or app is our mRNA drug, drug, the unique mRNA sequence that codes for a protein. We have a dedicated team of several hundred scientists and engineers solely focused on advancing Moderna's platform technology. They are organized around key disciplines and work in an integrated fashion to advance knowledge surrounding mRNA science and solve for challenges that are unique to mRNA drug development. Some of these disciplines include mRNA biology, chemistry, formulation and delivery, bioinformatics, and protein engineering. So here is a diagram of DNA, the picture of it, the double hel helical strand. Storage, DNA stores instructions for proteins in the nucleus. The mRNA, single helix here, is software. mRNA is a temporary set of instructions for cells to make a protein. mRNA is made using DNA. So, as you can see, it's an exact replicate of that protein. There's a complete 3D protein. mRNA has the instructions to create a protein. Applications. Proteins form the basis of life by performing the functions required by every cell. Proteins are made using mRNA. Our mRNA medicines, the quote, software of life, unquote. When we have a concept for a new mRNA medicine, and begin research, fundamental components are already in place. Generally, the only thing that changes from one potential mRNA medicine to another is the coding region. The actual genetic code that instructs ribosomes to make protein. Utilizing these instruction sets gives our investigational mRNA medicines a software-like quality. We also have the ability to combine different mRNA sequences encoding for different proteins in a single mRNA investigational medicine. We are leveraging the flexibility offered, afforded by our platform and the fundamental role mRNA plays in protein synthesis 
to pursue mRNA medicines for a broad spectrum of diseases. So here's the mRNA, the coding region, and the five prime region and the three prime region of the mRNA strand. The coding region is also called the open reading frame or ORF. And that code, as you remember, possibly from introductory biology, is a set of three codons, like ATG or ATT, and they code, the triplet code, codes for an amino acid. Within a given modality, the base components are generally identical across development candidates. Uh, formulation, five prime region and three prime region. Only the coding region varies based on the proteins, protein or slash proteins. The potential medicine is directing cells to produce. I'm gonna read that again for you. So only the coding region varies based on the protein slash proteins. The potential medicine is directing cells to produce. Okay, so overcoming key challenges, Using mRNA to create medicines is a complex undertaking and requires overcoming novel scientific and technical challenges. Oh, sorry. What's going on here? We, we need to get the mRNA into the targeted tissue and cells while evading the immune system. If the immune system is triggered, the resultant response may limit protein production and thus limit the therapeutic benefit of mRNA medicines. We also need ribosomes to think the mRNA was produced naturally so they can accurately read the instructions to produce the right protein. And we need to ensure the cells express enough of the protein to have the de desired therapeutic effect. Okay? And that's it, that's all they say. Okay, so let's break that down. Here it says we need to get the mRNA into the targeted tissue and cells while evading the immune system. If the immune system is triggered, like if the immune system catches on that this is foreign mRNA, and it's a foreign non-self thing, then the immune system is going to engulf it and destroy it. Okay, so also at the other end, once the MRA, I guess, well, I'm so confused about this, they don't ex explain this, but we learned in introductory biology that messenger RNA is a temporary molecule. It's very short-lived and as in it only lives one minute or five minutes. So what have they done to the messenger RNA to stabilize it? Because it has to stay in the vial and has to be injected and it has to invade the immune system and travel where? Are they hoping that it goes to the DNA? I, they're leaving out some things here that I don't know. I don't know 
if they're envisioning that the mRNA that's in the quote-unquote vaccine goes right into the targeted tissue which is the deltoid muscle and that deltoid muscle begins to create that protein and is it just once I mean I'm not really sure so anyway this is what is on their website and I'm sure there is uh, more papers about it but I thought this would be interesting and um, there is the website address sorry modernax.com and that's the thing there so as a biologist I oops anyway as a biologist uh, it what they're saying is that their mRNA is acting like software and that's just weird um, and a vaccine is something that creates an antibody response upon injection and this is not creating an antibody response upon injection it is going to cause an antibody response once the body incorporates whatever aspect of this mRNA is actually incorporated into the protein making machinery of the cell how this works I do not know does the mRNA immediately hook up with a ribosome and start creating the protein we're missing part of this piece here this is the mRNA the mRNA will then get together with several ribosomes the transfer RNA which brings amino acids into the um, tRNA the ribosomal complex right um, and the ribosome attaches the amino acid to the next amino acid by a hydrolysis reaction um, and then the tRNA drops off that amino acid the tRNA reads the code here as well so its code matches this code and that's how they get the right protein created so basically what this is going to do is it's going to cause your cells to make a protein that they've never made before which is a spike protein I guess of that is related to the coronavirus and then our bodies will make an antigen to this spike protein so my question again is when is this going to be turned on and when is it going to be turned off you see that the mRNA goes to the DNA right and translates the code into mRNA but it only does it when the gene is turned on when a gene is turned on for protein synthesis then the mRNA is created so so my questions are and I don't know if anyone here can help me out on this so this mRNA that is injected in to your system how long does it live does it become incorporated into the DNA and if so what will turn on its transcription this is called transcription here from here to here 
that's when the DNA code is transcribed or transcripted into messenger RNA. And how long does this messenger RNA live? Those are my questions. If anybody can help me out, I would love to know how this all works. It's just a novel medicine and doesn't seem to really fit the definition of what a Maxine is, but um, we're, we're all uh, getting this in this right now. A lot of us are. I personally won't, but um, maybe you already have, and uh, I just think it's great if people know and understand what is going on if they do decide that this is what they want to do, if they want to have mRNA to create a coronavirus protein in their system and how it actually gets turned on. I don't know the answer to that and I'll try and figure it out. If you do know, leave a comment below. I appreciate it and have a great day. Thank you.